Hey everybody, welcome to the DIY tutorial on how to make a polymer clay axolotl. This is working off of my kit from Robin Wood & Co's um, DIY axolotl kit. Please make sure you watch the first video on how to prep your surface and condition your clay. That is a really, really important piece to this. Um, in this kit, you can see the this is the light pink version. So I've already conditioned my clay. I have my eyeballs here. I have my aluminum foil, and I also have my tools off to the side. So we're gonna go through all of these. So the first thing that I've done is I've ripped my aluminum foil into about two thirds and a third of what it came with. I'm going to bunch this up because I'm going to make this larger piece the inside of my body. And the smaller piece I'm gonna bunch up into a bit of an oval for my head. So I'm going to make one axolotl piece today, but if you watch this video and you wanna make a bunch of small ones, you're welcome to do that too. You'll just have to make your own eyes. So you can kind of see that'll be the body and the head. And the reason I'm using aluminum foil is so that it is not too thick throughout the entire piece. I want it to be about a fourth of an inch thick. That's what I'm aiming for there. And I'm gonna lay my aluminum foil right on top. I'm gonna take my second ball and I'm just gonna pinch this out really gently and just move it around. I like to use two fingers on one side and my thumb on the other side. And axolotls kind of have an oval shape. So that's the shape that I aimed for for my aluminum foil. I'm gonna lay this right on top and I'm just gonna smooth this together. This is your great base to work off of, especially with beginners. And then these edges here, just take your fingers, smooth it back and forth. Once you get your clay nice and conditioned, it's great because it smooths really easily. If you're having cracking or any issues there, it means that you need to condition your clay a little bit more. So we're just gonna smooth all the way around. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the head. Now I want to save a little bit of my clay I don't wanna use it all on the head because I want to have some extra for a tail and some arms and legs. So I'm gonna take this piece here. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. This one's a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna squeeze out a nice little shape. And I'm gonna play this right inside, wrap my clay around just like this. And then I'm just gonna smooth. Your fingers are truly your best tools. If you want to use the tools that came with your kit, you absolutely can. There's nothing wrong with that. But your fingers are going to work a little bit better for these big creases here and really getting your, your, your clay nice and smooth. So I'm going to smooth it all the way out. You'll be doing lots of smoothing, so don't worry too much right now about fingerprints or any impressions. I'm just going to get our general idea of a head. Now, you can lay them flat like this, or you can make them sit up a little bit if you wanna have an angle. I think I'm gonna make mine sit up a little bit because it's so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna tear off some pieces that I'm gonna use for hands. Tear off a little bit bigger pieces that I'm going to use for my feet. And I'm just gonna take my ball roll it around in my hand. I'm using two fingers so that you can see, but you can also use your hand to roll it around, or you can place it right on the surface and roll it just like that. So you get a ball, ooh, that is not even. All right, we're gonna have a goal of having feet that are the same size. So we got two balls about the same size there. Another way you can do this is you can make one large ball and then break it in half which is a good way to get two even pieces, but a little bit harder to figure out what size pieces you want. So you can see that one is a little bit smaller, but I think I want ones that are more this size for his hand. So I'm just gonna add more to it. So it was really easy, now that's conditioned. And then we are going to make these a little bit more of an oval shape. So just take one finger and roll it like this, get a little bit more of an oval shape. I'll put that off to the side. Same thing here. And if you roll on a nice smooth surface like this too, you get nice smooth edges, which is great. And then same thing with the little hands. There we go. So line them up next to each other, make sure they're about the same size. And I'm gonna smooth this out just a little bit. Now I like to pinch my arms on one side. 
you know, you can make them face down like this or up, whatever you want to do for your axolotl. I might make it so that he can hold something. So I think I'm going to make my arms face up just a little bit because I think that's so cute and they look like that. So try to get your axolotl even on both sides there. And then same thing with the feet. I'm going to smooth these out just a little bit more. You do want a good general shape before you attach, but just actually, I'm going to make mine have little toes that go up just like that. So I am going to make the back of my foot a little bit more narrow, the top of my foot a little bit wider. Still trying to get about the same size as my other one here. There we go. All right, now for this video's sake, I'm not gonna smooth out everything on this little guy, but I would smooth out this line the rest of the way and make sure that there's no big creases in this body before I go any further. Also wanna make sure that that head is on really good. And the next part are the is the tail. So I'm gonna roll it around, start with the ball. And then I'm gonna roll it back and forth on the table. And I want my tail to have kind of a cone shape. So I'm gonna press more on this side over here and press less on the thicker side there. Now you could do any kind of tail that you want. You could do it like this. I'm gonna make mine a little bit flatter. Like that, and then I'm gonna pull the top so it's just like that, so then I can attach it. So cute. Okay, now I'm also going to decide on my colors. So I think the end of my tail, I'm going to have match the top of my head here. And then I think I'm gonna do my spots in this bright color. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of this and I'm gonna roll it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna fold it right around here. All right, so I can leave it like that, a little bit more 3D, or you can pinch a little bit more, which I think that makes the colors flow a bit. Now to stabilize this tail, I might start it. Oh, my head fell off. All right, that's because I'm gonna show you guys how to smooth now. So I'm gonna start it right here, but I'm gonna make sure that the end of the tail is on the table and that's just going to help stabilize this. Oh, sorry. Let me move this so you see. So we're going to smooth it really, really well. And again, you can go back with your tools. I'm just going to move the foot just so you guys can see really well. And then we're going to smooth the back side too. There we go. So again, I would go back over this, make sure that all of these creases are smoothed out. But for the time's sake of the video, I'm gonna leave it like this so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna press down right here so kind of anchors it. Put my little feet back on. All right, now I'm gonna work on the head before I go to sticking it back on the body. So I really wanna smooth them all around like this. And you know what, maybe I'll just have him just tilt his head up. Mm, no, I think it looks pretty cute with his head like this. So I am just gonna press a little bit more, make sure he has a nice stable head on there. And again, you could smooth it all the way, but I want mine to kind of look a little separate, not completely one piece together. So I'm gonna leave mine separate. And then we're gonna make those cute little protrusions onto the side. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna figure out where half of this is. Boop, rip that one in half. And then wrap this one into thirds. The goal of trying to get six balls that are about the same size. Now some, you know, I've seen lots of different artist renditions. And remember, this is not exactly what an axolotl looks like. It's what you want your axolotl to look like. So sometimes it could be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. It's really whatever you want your, your
your axolotl, your creation to look like. And there's no right or wrong on that. But I would try to make them pretty even across from each other so that your axolotl does look symmetrical. So then what you're gonna do is just roll a little bit. And you also don't want your pieces to stick out too far because you wanna make sure that it's, it's a pretty stable piece. So I'm gonna still keep mine pretty thick. You can see. And I'm gonna roll out all my pieces first. And thinking about which side of the head they're gonna go on. Make sure you can roll it out in your hand as well. If you roll out one and you say, oh, I don't want this one on the right side, I want it on the left side, just flip it on over. Work smarter, not harder. Right. Again, if you put this on and you're like, you know what, I do not like how this, this has ended up, that's okay, you just take it right back off and try again. Okay, so you can see I kinda started with one shape and ended up with a different shape over here. So I'm gonna match the one that I like. Again, still pretty thick. You don't want something that's too thin. And then you can do one of your tools. This one has a nice edge. If you wanna draw on it, draw a little line, add some texture. Now, some people think it's easier to do that when it's on the surface, which is definitely an option. And then just really gently pressing in or can add these guys in. I move my arms. Really make sure that they're good and stuck. Give it some support behind it and then add in your texture. I think this is probably the easiest way to do it. You can also take a paintbrush and some paint and add it on later if you wanna do that as well. So we're gonna stick all of these on here. I would smooth these a bit more to just make sure, but for this time sake of the video, we're gonna stick it just like that. Now you also have two eyeballs that came with it. So you can kind of adjust these the way that you want. We are gonna press that one in and same thing. I'm gonna try to match this so that it's even on the other side. Oh, how cute is that? and press that one in, so cute. Give them a good smooth. And then with this, I'm going to really condition this again, and get it nice and warm. And then we could do a couple of different things here. We can press down make a little dot like that. You could just do a circle. And you do wanna press a little bit into the clay to make sure that this little guy is stuck on there. Make some cute little dots on his head. You can also make this really, really thin. Cut off a little piece. Make it even smaller. All right, and it's just gonna gently stick to your finger and put it right here. And try to line it up with the middle. And make him have a little smile. You can also paint on a little smile if you'd rather do that. And leave them without a mouth. You could just add a little nose, but I think that's pretty cute. If you wanted to add a little nose, you would just take a small piece of clay, kind of take two fingers and pinch like this, pinch it down, make a tiny little triangle. Make a little triangle nose. However you want it to be, I think it doesn't need that. You can also take your tools here and make a little nose, a little nostril nose, however you want. 
and add this little arm back on too. So you can see there's lots of different ways to do it. When you are done and ready, you wanna make sure everything's smoothed out. You get all your fingerprints off of there. That's nice and stable. You're gonna put it on top of the parchment paper, put it on top of a cookie sheet, and then bake it for 275 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes. Then um, go ahead and take it out of your oven and let it cool all the way, it will be warm. And then you can pick them up. You'll still have to be a little gentle with them because it'll be fragile, but all of this clay will be hard and won't be malleable any longer. And you will have a cute little axolotl disc buddy. Thanks so much for joining me. If you have any um, questions, leave them below, or you can visit my website, www.robinwoodrva.com. And I'll leave that link below as well. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have fun creating.